Hi guys, welcome to another video by myself, Rob Allen. Today we at my home pool and uh, we're doing our normal pool testing. We're constantly testing different variations of different components to see just how they perform. And uh, today we're testing a variation of roller muzzle roller setups. As you can see, the guys are on the pool. We have a very large rubber target and we use that as the backstop to prevent the spears from hitting the wall and uh, we now take about five or six shots with one setup filming it close up and then we'll be able to slow that down and see how it performs then we'll change over to a similar setup with a slight tweak and that'll see uh, whether our changes have made any improvements or not probably nine out of ten changes don't actually make their way into production but we need to know what would happen and how it happens uh, if and when uh, we make these changes. One of the tests we're doing today is a 7mm spear with a drop barb. This time, as you can see, no O-rings. The plan is to use very skinny elastic bands, drive them down and hook them into the notch. And that should break free when we fire it. That's what we're going to do now on this test. So all the line is much more streamlined, low profile, no need for a O-ring up at the top and should deploy perfectly easily. We'll see that in the pull test coming up. As you can see from outside the pool, everything happens extremely fast. Very difficult to see what's going on with the naked eye. This is why we film it and then we'll slow it down and look on the TV screen, see how it looks. First attempt didn't work well. Now we're going to try a different system where we load the gun first and then we set the elastic bands up. Far less likely to stay connected because it's not connected to the spear, it's now connected to the rubber. There you go, let's see if this works. And there you go, right through the rubber. Can't see from here properly, but the barb has deployed. Good one, guys. We're gonna try a slightly different approach. This time we're gonna set the barb onto the spear before loading, and then we're going to stretch the rubber down onto the line release. The line release is there for a good reason, to release line. Let's see if it'll release the little rubber bungee at the same time. And then we'll test this version as well. This might make life a lot easier. Drop bobs obviously have much greater holding power, a little bit more fiddly to use, but the benefits are, are there. They have much better holding power than a conventional bob. Yeah, we're installing the, the double, very soft, long elastic bands, stretching it under the gun, set it up onto the line release. Simple as that. Now we'll load the gun and test it. About to shoot the line release version of the elastic, holding the drop barb on. Water's not as clean as it should be. We've had a bit of rain and thunder and tends to make it a bit cloudy. GoPro camera battery just died. So the only shot we're gonna get here is from outside the pool. Water's not the clearest. There we go. And there she drops away. Worked perfectly. We found the rubber uh, target itself obviously has a lot more grip on the elastic and uh, that's what holds it in position. As um, soon as you pull it back and you release the tension, the drop barb falls away. Obviously fish flesh is very different to rubber. Um, I'm not about to put a big fish in my pool and test it on that, but uh, now we need to go to the ocean and test it. One of the other tests we were doing was the problems that rollers sometimes have with lines becoming entangled with the rollers and all the wishbone. We tried a variety of versions in the beginning where we changed the muzzle shape and uh, tried to lead the water vortices away. All helped, but in the end we found that there was actually a better option, which was to set the line up ahead of the wishbone notch. In the tests you'll see here, we ran quite a few tests and uh, with the line in the normal place, right at the back of the spear. 
and about one in five, one in eight, sometimes foul with the roller still, but very lightly. A lot of this is relative to how tight your lines are. If you keep them very tight, this doesn't occur. We then put a spear into exactly the same gun. This time the hole for the line was through the spear ahead of the notch. This keeps all the line away from the rubbers. And uh, with it taut, it worked fine, but it seemed to work even better when we kept the lines very slack. And here you can see us testing them, and uh, yeah, it was quite a revelation. We're going to now offer this as an option for future roller guns. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, stand by for the next.